So look, I'm going to start this by noting that I'm not necessarily a Mortal Kombat fan. I don't really like fighting games that much. I pretty much play Super Smash Bros. and that's it. Fighting games are just not my cup of tea. But there is something happening with Mortal Kombat that, at least on Nintendo Switch, that I think we need to talk about. No, this isn't about the cartridge sizes and all of that jazz on the day one update. We already talked about that in a prior video that you can see above. But what I'm actually talking about is, is it possible that they are ashamed of the Switch port? Or that there's possibly something wrong with the Switch port of Mortal Kombat 11? I say this because Mortal Kombat 11 comes out on April 23rd. As of today, we are less than two weeks away from release. And the most we have seen is about 1.5 seconds of actual Switch footage. And this Switch footage came through a trailer put up on Nintendo's official channel, where essentially it's just two people. It starts off with a little CGI scene, and then it's two people staring at each other, and you see the Switch screen for literally one and a half seconds, and you don't actually see any combat happening on screen. And this is weird because they had a media event out at PAX East, and a bunch of media members from Game Explain to Switch Force to IGN got to play the Nintendo Switch version of the game. And all of them walked away from that media event saying the Nintendo Switch version is very impressive. We have Ed Boon doing an interview over at GameSpot and Game Informer, and, and just talking about how like the Switch version runs at 60 FPS, and they're so proud of this Switch version. And it's more Mortal Kombat 11 through and through, yet at PAX East, the Switch version was the only version that media were not allowed to take footage of. So we have plenty of footage of PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but nothing from Nintendo Switch because they wouldn't let media record footage. And then the only commercial that exists for it for Nintendo Switch doesn't really contain any combat footage either. What I'm getting at is it's awfully suspicious that we are 13 days before release and Nintendo Switch owners have no idea what to expect out of their version of the game other than being told it's supposed to run at 60 FPS. So you have to wonder, why is this the case? Now, there is a common sense uh, marketing ploy here where most games advertise the best looking version. Red Dead Redemption 2 was constantly advertising the Xbox One X version all the way up to release. The difference though, when we talk about this advertising, right, where uh, you, you see commercials and it's always featuring the Xbox One X or PC version of the game to make it look as pretty as possible, it's that footage of the other versions exist. There are trailers on you know, the PlayStation channel with the PlayStation version. There is footage of people playing this game on Xbox One S or a base PlayStation 4 at different media outlets. It's not as hidden as this version seems to be. And it's strange because we've seen this happen before. EA with FIFA 18 and FIFA 19 would not let media members record the Switch version, just the Switch version, at E3. Even though, especially last year, we had already gotten a FIFA game and we basically know what it's going to look like on Switch. For some reason, that Switch version is not allowed to have footage of it. And I don't get why developers seem to be ashamed of what's happening with Switch. If Ed Boon is right, and they're so proud of the Switch version, they're proud of the 60 FPS, they love how the game plays, and the media members that played it said, yeah, it's pretty damn good, then why the hell can't we see it? Wouldn't you want to advertise a version of the game going to the current hot platform on the market? At least advertise to the crowd that owns it, right? So, you know, put it in a trailer on Nintendo's channel, bare minimum. Let media members record their own footage, right? Like, if, if in your commercials are Mortal Kombat 11, you always want to feature the best-looking stuff, fine, do that. But at least let media members share their experiences with footage, not just with word of mouth, I honestly think this is a baffling situation. And again, it's happened on Switch with FIFA, and it's probably going to happen on Switch with other games in the future. And I don't get it. Now, obviously a big caveat here is that we do have a likely Nintendo Direct at some point this month. It'll probably be before the 23rd. I know I say probably, it might be after. But uh, in that, we might see finally some Switch footage of the game. But 
why are we waiting until just before launch to finally see what the thing looks like? And that's assuming that they even had the footage in there. I mean, the same is true, true of Doom Eternal, but at least Doom Eternal is still a, a ways off this year where there's still time for us to get that Switch footage. Like, if it's playable at E3, I'm sure Bethesda is going to let people record footage of it, so it shouldn't be a problem. I say that, and then all of a sudden it'll become a problem. But Bethesda let us record Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus footage last year, so I'm assuming that they would let us, you know, record Wolfenstein sign young blood and or doom eternal footage as well because why wouldn't you let people do that when you let them do it in years past but so why is ed boon why is the team behind mortal Kombat so afraid to let people see the switch version especially when media members are raving about it and the only conclusion i can have is either one the core development team is not proud of that version uh, two the marketing team thinks it would be a bad look for mortal Kombat 11 to show the switch version at all even though their main advertising is clearly showing the xbox one x version or this is the one that we hope isn't true there's something wrong with the switch version and they're sneakily hiding what's wrong with it i don't know if it's frame skips i don't know if you know it was a kind of a canned demo for media but the full game isn't actually all it's cracked up to be if they targeted 60 fps but it has dips down to 30 fps at times i don't really know but there is a real concern here that there, the lack of confidence being shown in this product is kind of baffling as a Switch owner. And I think there are plenty of you out there, justifiably so, that might be excited for this game that absolutely should wait for previews and reviews to come out before you pre-order, before you buy. Because you need to know that there's nothing fundamentally wrong with this version. Obviously, we expect it to be lower resolution. We expect the blood and special effects to be cut back in some ways. Maybe there's no anti-aliasing. These are all things that most of us as Switch owners understand are going to be sacrificed, especially to hit 60 FPS, which matters more in a fighting game than the special effects and the resolution. So I honestly think that unless something's wrong then I don't get why they're not showing this damn thing off. Why they're not letting media show it off. I mean, media got to play it in docked mode and undocked mode. I, I, I'm not understanding the decision-making here, and it's kind of frustrating as a Switch owner. Now, again, the caveat is I'm not planning to buy this game anyways. Fighting games aren't my cup of tea, but it is the major day-and-date brand new AAA third-party game arriving this month. Not a remaster, not an old port. We're talking a brand new AAA game that's not Wolfenstein and not Doom, not NBA, you know, games that we've come to expect at this point. And this is the treatment Switch owners are getting. They're being left in the dark on what this game actually looks like on Switch. And that shouldn't be happening. Two weeks from release, we shouldn't be literally making a video, literally questioning in a commercial for the game for Switch, hey, why can't we see what this game actually plays like on Switch? Why can't we see what it actually looks like? Why are media members not allowed to share anything? Yeah, I'm sure there'll be previews and reviews and all that coming here in the next week or two, but again, we shouldn't have to wait that long to find out what the game at least looks like on a given platform. There's PlayStation 4 footage out there, base PlayStation 4 footage, base Xbox footage, not even Xbox One S, base Xbox footage of this game out there. And obviously we see Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro footage. So why, why can't we see Switch? That's the million dollar question, and I don't have an answer for that. And maybe someday, um, if we can get an interview with Ed Boon or someone on the team, we can ask them. Um, I do have an interview opportunity coming up with the people behind Warhammer uh, Age of Sigmar, which is uh, a Hearthstone-style Warhammer card game coming to Switch. So I am trying to get some more interviews lined up, but man, I, I don't know why a company would keep saying how proud they are of something while being afraid to actually show that something. And as you guys let me know if this even bothers you, because I don't know, maybe I'm just over-exaggerating, maybe I'm overthinking this, but ah, man... You know, bet between the small, you know, file size on the cart and, like, making people have a forced download day one, uh, that's a massive 16 gigabyte patch. And then on top of that, uh, and that's for the physical version, of course. And then on top of that, now you're talking about how you won't even show the game. You're just telling everyone it's great. Media members played it and said it was great, but you won't let our own eyes uh, see and look upon it and make that decision for ourselves. I mean, is there a lack of confidence in this version? 
Um, are you afraid that people might see a blurry Mortal Kombat 11 and that would affect the reputation of the game when it looks so great on all the other trailers for the other platforms? I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss for words. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation down in the comments below. Maybe I'm making, you know, a mountain out of a molehill, you know, as the expression says. Maybe it isn't a big deal, but it feels like a big deal to me. I can't remember the last time we had a major AAA release on Switch two weeks away from launch that we don't actually know what the game looks like on switch like I'm, I'm just baffled that being said be sure to enter our nintendo switch super smash Bros. ultimate bundle giveaway through the gleam.io link down in the description i want to thank all of you guys for tuning in it's been an interesting day so far i'll uh, be sure to tune in later at 5 p.m for our episode of prime news finally back in action and you know what i'm nathaniel ruffle dance from nintendo prime and i'll catch you in the next video